What's up, guys? It's done. And Drew. Make sure y'all subscribe. And also click the bell to get notifications for right when we upload new videos. Done and Drew, baby. All right, everybody. Welcome to episode Here's one. Amaza. Welcome to episode one hundred and forty-five of Dunn and Drew. I'm kind of excited because I just read our Apple Podcast reviews. We got two more, and they're really good. It made me feel really confident about what we're doing here. So, let's get to those shout-outs. Hit the music. We are the kings of the weekend. All right. First, we'll start with a Twitter shout out. Shout out to Levy Hoskins two for retweeting last episode link. Who? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, let's review the Apple Podcasts um, reviews. One person said, "Genuine laughter, inside jokes, and solid sports talk." Definitely not a Jaguars podcast. Sub to their YouTube channel and Dunn's OnlyFans if you're a real one. <laughs> How many times I got to tell you stop exposing me on this platform? <laughs> Wasn't me this time. It's not supposed to be worldwide. <laughs> Why are we global? Uh, we you heard global. the countries. I read them. Yeah. Um, I like the inside jokes comment because it's funny because, yeah, they're inside jokes with us, but they're inside jokes with like everyone on here that listens. Yeah, I'm going to need him to describe what inside jokes he's talking about. Oh, I'm sure there are many. The um, lingo? Jay- what? The lingo? What he means? Maybe, but there are other, other inside jokes. Hmm. The um, undertones that we do, yeah. I, I see. Jay Falk com- uh, left a review on Apple, said, I listen to a lot of sports podcasts, but D&D is hands down the most creative and unique. Uh, thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. He's lying, thank though. Said. He said their inside... Another inside jokes one. He said mm. their inside jokes segments slash skits and great senses of humor crack me up every week glad to see y'all staying consistent again don't jinx it any chance one minute hockey comes back no Thought- <laughs> 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 thoughts on the seattle kraken logo no oh, speaking of oh. maybe maybe one minute hockey will return because seattle kraken is my team <laughs> my team oh. it's my team did you see you saw that logo then yeah, it looks how the, hard. How it's the NHL hard. just going to debut a new team in this economy in the middle of a pandemic? They did the Sonics dirty, so they had to bring Seattle back. Seattle's been begging for a new professional sports team. It don't matter when, the time. So that's your team? Oh, yeah. They need to bring back KD, Richard Lewis, and Ray Allen, though. You feel me? To the Kraken. Bring, bring them back to the city. Get them in a Kraken jersey. Um, yeah, that's my squad. I don't know anybody else that I could be a fan of in NHL. Well, didn't you go to a Buffalo Sabres game? No, you went to a, a Nashville Sabres, one, didn't you? You're random ass. Didn't you go Sabres. to a Nashville one? <laughs> Sabres. I went to Florida Panthers, but fuck. Florida ain't, Florida ain't good at shit but college sports. Um, Tampa Bay Lightning were the number one team in the NHL oh, last yeah. year. They were the number one team every year, and then they choke in the Eastern Conference Finals. Why do I Bro, know this? They were the number one team last year in all of NHL, like best record or something, or most points ever, and they lost in the first round. <laughs> I think yeah, they, they got did. swept. To who? I don't Winnipeg? Know. I don't know. You don't even know that is. <laughs> Winnipeg Sabres. Winnipeg Sabres. <laughs> Everyone's the Sabres. Um, I did go to Buffalo and see the Sabres arena, though, from the outside. But that's as close to Buffalo Sabres as I've been. You love sports venues. Boy, the Kraken. Seattle Kraken. It's my squad. We'll talk about baseball later. Trying to figure out a team there. A lot of NHL and baseball talk already on this episode. Yeah, unfortunately, um, that's, what we've, that's what we've come to. So this episode is 24 hours late because I've had computer issues, as always. Normal. Normal. Yesterday, it would not turn on. Today, I just spammed the on and off this computer's only two years old. It's ridiculous. But that name ain't. That name ain't. 
Asus. Asus. Someone told me that that is a computer that schools use, and if schools using it, you know that shit old. Oh, well, depending on the school. Anyway. But I apologize for Andy's inconvenience, guys. Yeah, it's getting out of hand. I almost didn't. Well, in the, in our past, we would just not have recorded an episode this week. Say we'd win it, but now <laughs> it's a new us. Is that true? Yeah, I think we would have just said, I feel, you know, like back ah, the, I feel like back in the day, we were so loyal. We'd be like, come on, man, we got to get this in. We used to do two a week, sometimes three. That's back back in the day. I we think hit a we slump. Used to, we used to do three, didn't we? No, we did a three Monday, the first week. Monday, Wednesday, week. Friday. <laughs> we're dropping Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I think we did three our first week. Mm. And we um, finals talk. Good I times. actually got an alert. It was funny. I got an alert on my computer day saying that my computer is free of viruses. That's a joke. Yeah, that is a joke. You showed me that shit would not turn on yesterday. And then you got home and hit on and it just turned on. Is that what happened? Uh, the snap you sent me turning it on, was that in real time? The, yeah, the the one thing that I changed this time was when I turned it on, I just mashed every key on the keyboard. And I said, oh, okay, I'm awake. <laughs> and you're confident to keep this going for episodes to come. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still on. getting a new... I'm still getting a new one. If anyone can recommend any com- any computer that will excel at, because I do a lot of Adobe, it has to be able to edit Adobe Premiere, and I have to be able to video edit without any oh, lagging. God, I'm a tool. Um, that's really the my main focus. So, um, well, that Adobe Adobe Premiere shit mm-hmm. is naturally laggy. Any editing software, really. I have to close Final Cut Pro a lot sometimes too because really? it's a lot of it's a lot of data that has to be processed. Well, but your comp- your computer, like I don't want a computer that I have to do that with. I want a computer that's good enough that I don't have to do that. Right. Um, Why would so many people suggest for you to build your own? Like you're some. Sort I of hate mechanic? that. Like I can build a fucking computer. Two people, <laughs> manager Tommy and someone else on Twitter has recommended. He's gonna be met, upset that I said someone else. He's a loyal listener. Someone else on Twitter recommended that I build my own. Like, what the fuck? Tommy, stay, gonna, Tommy stay with the technological advice. How the fuck am I going to build my own? Build a computer. <laughs> get a Discord. <laughs> what start Bill, a Patreon. What am I, Bill Gates? Um, speaking of Patreon, we have an announcement that has to do with this koozie. You son of a bitch. What? Already getting to use it. Yeah, so I got this. Uh, That's a pretty. Little, That's actually really nice. I'm proud of us. A high lie IPA. Is that Asian? Wrapped don't me, in. Don't get me started. You no, know, can't. Uh, wrapped in a uh, Dun and Drew <laughs> exclusive Dun and Drew koozie. Um, partnered with. We're partnered with Grey Goose on this project. Um, McCarty. You'll, fi- you'll find out more next week. You'll also find out more um about oh, what you getting what you getting what's in the fucking box your another. balls your balls well thank you you'll find out about another hmm. partnership with manscaped next week i'm intrigued why are you keeping secrets from me you'll uh you'll find out how you can Support slash benefit off of us. We'll get into all that next week. How's your bush? Eric? But uh, the community audience will know first because they, they will learn. They they get all the news first, or I try to make that happen. But my bush is thriving currently. I've been posting our uh, wink wink on OnlyFans. <laughs> Stay acting um, like it's only me that exposes you. <laughs> yeah, but only only I could talk about it. If other people are talking about it, that means other people know about it. And I can't have other people knowing about it. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Well, my bush is thriving. I need to shave it. I'm looking forward to shaving it and giving a review on that product, which I heard mixed things about. So I'm looking forward to using it firsthand. Well, literally, I don't know if we can say that. I don't think. Well, this isn't the episode. Okay. So. <laughs> and 
Yeah, we. I also agree that I can't ethically talk about a product like Manscaped until I actually try it. So I'm going to put that to use this week, and then we're going to review it next week and then give out a, a promo code for y'all if y'all want to try it, if we, if we like it. Right. Because <clears throat> we got to like it. You know? Yeah, because I'm not gonna. I'm gonna turn down the partnership. If we Who's don't like this? It. Who's this? The dude. You, you stay with the secrets this episode. <laughs> the secrets. Connecting audio. If you're listening, what if it's and like not a watching? Superstar? Andy has invited someone to this chat named the dude. And his service must be shit because he ain't connected. I guess we can just, let's just keep talking until this person connects. Um, hurricanes. Um, so last week, I had really nothing to report. There was the Atlantic was clear, and just like that, we get three things that pop up. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, so my hurricane talk got to be put on pause. Oh, he's still connecting audio. Okay, so we had three three disturbances in the in the tropics that that have popped up. Um, this week, this past weekend, we had the first hurricane of the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season. Hurricane Hannah, you probably heard of her. She just railed Texas, mm. um, but she's gone. Um, it wasn't bad. Category one. Her, there's Hurricane Douglas. Was it just... bad? Well, how was it? They was got it... wiped. Oh. They just got wiped. <laughs> Houston, Houston flooded again. 100k people with no power. We can't hear you, young. We can't hear you, young. How you aged and you can't get your technology right? Uh, I knew that was gonna happen. You make an Asian joke? Yep. There's one an episode now. But that accent, though. Yeah, that yeah, doesn't that, happen every episode. Put that one on hold. <laughs> now we can't hear you, young. So if you guys, if you guys aren't watching on YouTube, we should, by popular demand, and by popular and demand, by popular I, mean demand two comments. I mean two comments. <laughs> young Long, young Long, young our, high Long buddy, our high school buddy, is back, is back in the episode. In the episode. Um, um, oh, oh, we hear Jesus you. Jesus Christ. He's using my, the mics oh. that I used what for my is that thing? OS song. Kick him from the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Heard you laugh. Right, fuck it. We're, going, we're going live, dude. We're going live. <laughs> I can hear you. Off. Yeah. All right. We're going fucking live, bro. <laughs> All bro, right. That's much bro. better. Is that computer audio now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, well, it's way it's better. Bobo. It's better. It's not good, but it's better. All right. So I'm talking about the hurricanes. So let me finish real quick. So Hurricane Douglas just missed Hawaii, which I didn't even know Hawaii got hurricanes. And you know why? Because they don't. First time in like 100 years. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> like that. Look it up. Look it up. I'm I did. I'm getting there. You're going to get interrupted so much. <laughs> um, the the eye didn't make landfall, but it basically hit Hawaii because Hawaii is very small. The hurricane got close. But if it did, if the eye did make landfall, it would have been just the third hurricane in modern history to make landfall in Hawaii. So mm. that's my hurricane spiel. Now it's time hurricane for MLB. Of the day. Is Young Long joining us the entire show? <laughs> He's going to join us until... Um, I won't say 100. a word. Don't My say best word. He's just watching. Until Top 100? Okay. Young, how you been? Pretty good. Pretty good? Thanks I mean, for asking, man. How you guys been? It's been a minute. Shit. I know. I miss you. I was thinking the other day, do you, do you miss high school at all? Fuck no. Yeah. No? No. I miss college. Knowledge. I don't miss any of these fuck boy friends we had in back to school, Jesus bro. Jesus Christ. Young, I, I remember freshman year, I think it was, I tripped you on the trailer out in the back of the school. Portable? Yeah, portable. Damn, I'm old. Trailer? The fuck? Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah, I tripped your ass on there. I was a dick. So I'm, I apologize. Dude, I used to fucking you, bro. You used to rock that Tim Duncan backpack, bro, and I used to slap the shit out of it. Like take out, take your notebooks out. What the fuck you talking about, bro? I don't, I don't remember all that. I'm gonna have to fucking refresh your memory, dude. I don't even remember taking that to high school. 
I use that in middle school. But if you say I had it, I had it. Shit. Maybe, maybe I'm wishful thinking. Zane once tripped me in the crooked hallway and bruised my knee for a week. <laughs> Did that thing where you kick your kick the leg sideways so it goes behind the other leg. Okay. <laughs> thought I <laughs> thought I joined the, joined young, the conversation. Young not giving me nothing. Hey, uh, young, you been watching any uh, baseball? It's the only thing we got on currently. The Cubs? <laughs> why Cubs? Yeah, why Cubs? Yeah, Chad, Jack and Robinson ballpark. You don't like? He's talking about Daytona. Tortugas, my my bad. Tortugas. Talking about our local Daytona Beach minor league team. Um, <laughs> aren't all our friends from Daytona? Yo. Do you get y'all uh, uh, show some respect to the greatest Daytona Beach athlete of all time, Vince Carter? Just retired. Just yeah, we he retired a yeah, few a, podcasts a ago. ago. <laughs> uh, shit, shit, shit. Do you hey, have any y'all remember that his dad was our substitute teacher? I always tell people that. No. Yeah, I don't. Mr. Robinson. That. Who? Mr. Robinson, the black substitute teacher. At Creek. At Creek, the black substitute teacher. I mean, there were probably a few black substitute no, teachers. No, there was one, Mr. Robinson. Yo, that kind of that's kind of ringing a bell. He it had is. a he's he's an old black dude. He had a peace buckle belt, big old belt buckle with a peace sign on it. <laughs> that was his dad, straight up. Huh. Your high school memory is too vivid for what I've been through. Why wouldn't bro? I was fucking thinking about all the crazy shit Eric used to do in high school, bro. Like straight up, dude, that shit was wild. No, no his... wonder why you made it, dude. Spare me. <laughs> why wouldn't his last name be carter it's a stepfather bro uh, you know blacks be you know blacks be true mm-hmm. messed up fams mm-hmm. gotta chill all right so this is we talk mlb real quick fauci dr fauci's first pitch of the season unlike <laughs> coronavirus no one caught call him it. tony please call him tony hey you can't ruin my punchlines you gotta get him out you gotta get him out quick i like the coronavirus no one caught it <laughs> uh, speaking of mlb since that's the only thing we got to watch right now i've been trying to i've been picking trying to pick a team for the past six seven months right now i'm between padres cardinals and marlins those are the three teams i'm interested Ew. In now. you don't need reasons why just help me pick one but it's still hard for me to get interested in the sport I was watching the Yankees Nationals game for like two pitches, and I couldn't fucking, I couldn't get it. What do you need, y'all? <laughs> I don't know anything about baseball. Then, well, what then the why'd you raise your hand? Why'd you raise your hand for? I want the Padres to change their name. What the fuck? <laughs> they just changed their colors back is to it, the old, the old what colors. Is it, Padre? is it cold, cultural assimilation or whatever it's called? For don't. <laughs> You're talking about assimilating for me, bro. Nothing, nothing like that from you. The Padres. I don't know what a Padre is. But what the fuck is a, what's a Philly? It sounds like an amigo. An what's hombre. a Philly? Isn't Philly? No, I said what's a Philly. There's a baseball team called the Philadelphia Phillies. What's a Philly? A fucking crazy dude from Philadelphia, like all those guys. They're Philly fanatic. They crazy. Let's fuck. Hmm. So um, a Padre, can a Padre just be a the dad? The dads. I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, respect the dope no city. But, San Diego. What's up? I'm a Rays fan. Obviously. But name one player. I do. Sorry. <laughs> you want to name a player? Give me a player. Just one. Just I did one. see a tweet from you, or you retweeted it. Said, "Man, I wish I didn't find baseball boring as fuck." <laughs> and that's yeah, true. Maybe, Every time maybe, baseball season starts, made me giggle a little because. God damn, man. I get hyped for it. You know, I get hyped and then I sit down and try to watch this shit. And I'm like, God damn. This shit boring as fuck. But speaking of the Marlins, you know, how the MLBs uh, just got their season started. Been like, they're like four games in now. They just got 14 total positive cases. I know you heard about this young. 14 total cases now in the Marlins locker room. And it led the MLB to hold this emergency meeting to discuss if they were going to keep going with the season or not. And they ultimately decided that, yes, they will. But 
they're about to do these new regulations, which are kind of stupid, that players must wear masks in the clubhouses, and they're prohibiting high-fiving and spitting. Problem spitting. solved. I don't think high-fiving and spitting is going to solve anything. And how, if you're a player, are you going to be consciously thinking about not to high-five a teammate when you're in the heat of the game, hitting balls, hitting runs in, hitting home runs? That shit ain't going to work. They should... If they, they're getting positive case, they should have known this was going to happen. We in the middle of a fucking pandemic and they had no plan like the NBA to put these players in a bubble because it's damn near impossible with the amount of people on their roster. Bro. So they should have known this was going to come and trying to do changes in foresight or hindsight isn't going to work. There's going to be more cases that come up even if they try to implement these new regulations. Bro, imagine the NFL season. Like, you know people are going to test positive. Are we delaying a game? Are we going to get, like, Tuesday games, Wednesday games in the NFL? And then how does that shift the schedule? Like, if a game has to be postponed because people have to get tested because someone tested positive. And what if a quarterback tests positive? He, quarterback, the, Mahomes is going to sit out a game? Yeah, of course he would. Okay. It's going to be a shit show. Yeah, but so it's, I'm, it's going to be entertaining. Well, Chief NFL, fan is not watching watch. Chad hit me. Jeez, is the NFL in a bubble? No, not yeah. right now. They're traveling. But were they during the season? No, sure. no, so not they're, all, no, they're all traveling. Yeah, they're gonna be back and forth, up and down. Hey, Roger Goodell knows what he's doing, right? Yeah, good one. Um, the Marlins, like they, I wonder if because I wonder if they have an outbreak because they're in Miami, like one of the hot spots right now. Um. Yeah, they weren't in. They weren't in Florida. Yeah, but they're in Philly. But I'm sure they carried it. They had it before they're going. Because Marlins haven't had a home game yet, so they haven't even been in Florida. But unless they had it, you know, prior to the season, which is possible. Yeah, this season <clears throat> started uh, just a week ago. Yeah. Um. So that canceled the Marlins game home opener versus Orioles tonight, Monday night, and it also canceled the Yankees at Phil in Philly because they had to disinfect the shit. Also, I see Fox using CGI fans like this is some sort of video game. Ugly, not a I fan, like but I do like the cardboard cutouts. I, I like don't it. like them in the NBA, though. Only in baseball it looks, you know, kind of funny, but I saw it in NBA, and I was like, no. Who has it in NBA? I saw it today. They got, they got a little screen around in the court, uh -huh. and sometimes teams will put some shit on there. Like the Heat, in their first, you know, preseason game, they had – Fake crowd on there screaming defense, <laughs> chanting defense. Uh -oh. And um, just this, uh, I think today I saw a team put on um, cardboard. They put a cardboard fans on the screen and it looked fucking stupid. But baseball can get away with it. But NBA don't need to copy that shit. It's starting to get corny. I like it. Like we said, no fans. Let's do no fans then. Shit. Let's not, no. let's, not get, let's not do this fake shit. No, I love it. I love the I love the CGI. It makes it look like you're watching MLB The Show. And I love the cardboard cutouts, especially the dogs. You see the dogs the other day. Braves player hit a home run, hit, knocked one of the dogs in the out in the outfield. Yeah, it's kind of sad too. What young seeing, like cardboard fans out there? Why are you guys talking about baseball for fucking half an hour? I know. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's all we got to watch, my nigga. Normally, Dude, normally do you want to talk NFL? Okay, hey, lead us off. Oh, Give us. No, dude, I'm so fucking waiting, kneeling, bro. <laughs> <laughs> give us, give us an NFL topic to chew on. Okay, it's not an NFL topic, but you heard Ben Shapiro on Joe Rogan podcast talk about. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Holy shit! That enraged the fuck out of me, bro. What was he oh, talking about? Idiot. No one likes that guy. I bet you all your fans love Ben Shapiro. All your chill, fans. chill, chill, chill. What was he talking about? He just talking about how on American kneeling is. Get the fuck out of here, on American. There's nothing wrong about kneeling, bro. Straight up. And maybe that's controversial. I don't know. But to criminalize this man, I don't know. Just cut this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get canceled. <laughs> I'm gonna keep these thoughts in my young, head. Young thought he's preaching to the choir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Angie's face is like, Angie's a fucking offended, bro. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind. I thought I was with the uh, fucking 
You thought Andy's, this was a liberal Andy, podcast? Andy's anti Neil. <laughs> Are you really, bro? No. I don't get freedom of speech. I don't care. Because <laughs> I'll leave this shit right now. <sighs> <laughs> I think I think some might do it for the wrong reasons, but I'm not anti Neil. What's the wrong reason? I think thinking Did they're for attention? I don't think we should get into <laughs> this. <laughs> You asked him to lead us off. I'm sweating. <laughs> no, I am for real. Um, no, but, okay. What was I your backup be. topic? Did you have a backup topic? NFL? Okay, my two topics is I don't know why they talk about kneeling still. That's bull. That blows my mind. Okay, but Tom Brady, he's in uh, Tampa. Pretty cool. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> That's it, dude. I don't care about the fucking. Football, dude. He's an NBA dude, bruh. Look at magic. He's a magic guy. All right, let's talk NBA then. Oh, but before, what what have you guys been talking during the pandemic? I don't listen to y'all shit, unfortunately. <laughs> but I love you guys. Fuck but you. What have you guys been talking about? Politics? <laughs> no. Coronavirus? You can't oh. tell? Um. Yeah, we do. We do touch on politics sometimes, especially when the George Floyd <laughs> shit was going down. Obviously. So what, what shit? The George Floyd shit. Tell me you know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He might not know about it because he's just wondering why people are still talking about kneeling. I know, right? Young Long in 2017, bit. No, 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 no. no. Fuck you. If you listen to Ben Shapiro, who was on Joe Rogan's podcast fucking last week, I do. talking about kneeling, it fucking blew my mind. But Yeah, but, but, well, people are still going to have those takes, but, you know, we don't talk about that shit anymore we no, last fuck that we for not signing top, Colin Kaepernick because that's the boy we needed bro I thought they're giving I thought their back and forth was was a healthy conversation and they get a conversation <laughs> I don't really hear a back and forth conversation I just hear people on the fucking right like Tommy like Lauren or Lee Harn or whatever name is Ben Shapiro going ape shit <laughs> straight up going crazy I don't know yeah that's Making news that's bro too. and fuck Tucker Carlson <laughs> Jesus, when did you see you've been you've been heavy into the news, huh? You ain't been watching shit but political news, bro. No sports They're young. On. Don't do not what? become radicalized. I feel like, I, yeah, I feel like you're. I feel like you're getting there. You better stay no, off Twitter, <laughs> bro. I just got on Twitter, bro. Oh you shit! It's it's any day now. You're gonna start. We're gonna see Young Long in Orlando looting next uh, riot. Bro. You're gonna go to Port. He's gonna go to Portland. Anyway, bro. anyway, about Portland though. You hear Mello? You know how Mello, like before this, even when with their fans, uh, Mello's always like, "Give me that shit. Get the fuck out of here." Yeah. Getting rebound in time. Mm-hmm. Hey, are we hearing? Yeah. I haven't been paying attention. Are we hearing, being able to hear the, the players more on the courts? I don't watch the scrimmages, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Me uh, uh, I wish you brought me in after Thursday. Cannot wait till that start of the season again. Uh, what are you looking forward to? Do you think? Fucking basketball, bro. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, John- <laughs> hey, I know you're a magic guy. Jonathan Isaac got some minutes today. And okay. Real nice. You said Jonathan Isaac? Because yes. fucking people. I'm a Magic fan, but I hate Magic fans because they're so fucking dumb, bro. Because you know why? They circle jerk over Jonathan Isaac. And not only that, okay, Jonathan Isaac, I get it, sure, young prospect, but people go crazy over Marco Holt. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> we all shoot better than Marco Holt here. Man. Straight up. He's got a clip nowadays, doesn't he? Okay. Man, Ben Simmons got a clip nowadays. You see him drain it? <laughs> <laughs> you, no, he does not got no clip. You angrier at the fans than you are at your team for being ass. Oh. I'm an occasional Reddit, Orlando Magic subreddit or whatever. I, I'm i so downvoted. <laughs> that people are all over Markel Fultz. Are you kidding me? Get a fucking grip. Markel Fultz, are you kidding me? What? It's your team, bro. They're they're happy for a new point guard coming to that place. I haven't had he has potential though. Don't once you once you say that. <sighs> that brother has two left arms. <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I want him to be better basketball, better better players on every team is better. You know? 
No, but speaking of that jersey you're wearing, dude, I bet Do you, you know, know who it is. I, I've, I've seen your pictures, yeah. Jeez. Damn, he said get new clothes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Andy doesn't wear much jerseys, but when he, when he does, it's a white dick wear. <laughs> white guy. <laughs> Yo, he's right. Minshew. Fuck. Darn <laughs> shit. Uh, Drazen Petrovic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure. Okay. 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 Another thing about the line of magic, right? It's a magic Stay podcast. <laughs> no, bro. Okay. You know, we had the bonus, an all star on the Pacers. What is it? First, second year? I don't even know. He was on the magic. We got rid of him. Yep. Oh, Depot. We well, got that's why I think that's why I think people are standing for Isaac. Like they don't want to. They don't want him to be another Oladipo or. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I tried so hard to keep going. Tobias Harris. Out. We got rid of Tobias Harris. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing, yeah. You playing. got rid of you got rid of everybody. Tracy McGrady. For nothing. For nothing. Howard. And these are all quality players, bro. Dwight Howard. Shaq. Nelson. Fuck the DeVos family. I said it. I said it. Jesus. <laughs> um <laughs> let's get it. let's see what i have some nba talk um so here's some here's some kyrie irving headlines in the recent days kyrie irving donates three hundred twenty-three thousand to combat food insecurity amid coronavirus pandemic next kyrie next kyrie irving donates two hundred thousand beyond burgers to nyc food bank Kyrie Irving <laughs> produces Say Her Name, Brianna Taylor special, calls for action. Yo, shout out to Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving commits $1.5 million to support WNBA players who opted out of 2020 season. Oh, I have a rant. I didn't add this in here, Eric. Mm. I have a rant about WNBA. Oh, God. I know, <laughs> I know this won't be on Young Yo. Long's pro- no, progressive. No, 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 no. I love Juana Man. Who? Juana Man. Man. Who's Yo- that? The movie. Eric, you watch that movie? Jumanji? Long time ago. I got it on VHS. J- Juana Man. I still love you, Juana Man. <laughs> How is that relevant? It's this, it's this movie it's, where yeah. this black NBA player or close to NBA player dresses up as the woman in the NWNBA. It's called Juana Man. Ah, uh, okay. I think it's Whoopi Goldberg, ain't it? Uh, maybe. She might be in it. I think it's like Arsenio Hall or something. I forgot who the, I forgot who the damn main character was. It might be our, it might be like Wesley Snipes or Arsenio Hall or someone who looks like that. What's your rant about the WNBA? Is it something that we haven't heard before? It's something that you haven't heard on this podcast before, but I've I sent it to you. Mm. I said <clears throat> <laughs> Little Kim is a movie and genuine. So I, I sent Eric, I said, What the fuck does support women's hoops mean? Because you see this a lot on Twitter. Um, like, are we supposed to suffer through it because they're women and they deserve recognition? Are we supposed Yo, cancel, to cancel him, bro? You all want to cancel me? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! You can't say that, bro. He said cancel him, <laughs> bro. Bro, but for real, are we supposed to like leave it on TV and w- and when we walk <laughs> out of the room to get the oh, right <laughs> Because Did when you, you say support, who from Fox News? When you say so, <laughs> young. When you say support young, women's young, hoops, young, young. If he doesn't like women's hoops, he doesn't have to watch it. But people are saying no, support it, like even if it's bad, we're supposed to watch it to give it ratings and to give it, no, give it our some attention. People watch it. But they're acting like, like what do those Rachel tweets Nichols, mean? Rachel support Rachel women's Nichols hoops. Shut the fuck up about the WNBA. I don't care, Rachel Nichols. <laughs> how about, how about if it's good, I'll watch it. But it's not, so I'm not going to watch it. No, I, I agree. But I do like women's soccer. And I do like women's MMA. Yeah, that's irrelevant. That's a problem. It's not sexist to say that you don't like the WNBA. It's, I don't it's, think so. it's a terrible product. And people are I trying to so. force it because NBA is Make so viewed, so nationally and, and globally viewed. And people are like, oh, WNBA too, pay us equally. But nobody watches it. Bro, the pay equally for WNBA argument? Oh, <laughs> my God. Okay, but no one – I don't think WNBA players are asking for equal pay to NBA players. That's not the argument, bro. Yeah. I've heard it. Mm. The argument is they want, like, a big, bigger share. 
I think it's whatever the market, whatever the market uh, calls for. The same with women's, women's. Oh, well, no, no, no. I mean, you can't really say whatever the market is because if the NBA is not, the players aren't based on on the market. You know, it's CBA. They fucking bargain for this shit. Cause if they won't want it to, the owners be like, "Hey, sorry about it. Million dollar max." Million dollar max. And that's the that's the max. You know, no one would play. Exactly. But I, I still it, it still does season. come down to you know how many people are even watching that shit. But you know that the WNBA subsidizes the WNBA. Like some profits of the NBA goes to the WNBA. That's really. The yeah, one hundred percent. Look it up. Hmm. The NBA. I, think, I figured that. that. The WNBA. Fact. Strange. The women's soccer team has more of a case than the WNBA. Exactly. Exactly. Because who the fuck? I love our. I love Morgan's something. Ashton Morgan or whatever name is. Alex Morgan. Alex Morgan. I love those lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> about the, WNBA. the WNBA has a lot of lessons. and more power to them. And more power to them. Um, I only said that because Megan Rapino really, literally came out. No, straight up. Like, I feel like every girl who plays hoops is straight up. But that's another. You got to take that out because that's not true. <laughs> nothing, is nothing is taken out. We get canceled. We get canceled. Then, block my you, face. Jesus. Who's, <laughs> let me blurt your face out. Who's gonna cancel you, bro? If we haven't gotten canceled by now, you should hear what we say. We or can't have said now. in our earlier days. But thank God those episodes are gone. <laughs> yeah, they're they're gone from existence. Thank goodness. Because I think since we picked it back up from the the deleted episodes, we've been a little bit cleaner in the way it's, we talk. Yeah, I can we've tell been... by your y'all reactions, but from what I'm saying, you're like, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about that don't do that anymore. He's gonna run for president. Um, we're still edgy, but you know we're, we're we tow a line. <laughs> we got a line that we don't cross here sometimes. Still a little racist. Ding dong dong. I'm glad that went over well. I was no, nervous. straight up, straight up. Eric used to be do all that dumb shit throughout high school. That shit was so funny, bro. Like, straight up, I swear to God, like, during economics class, he pulled his cock out and started doing dumb shit, bro. Straight up, that's the crazy shit Eric used to do, bro. I pulled my <laughs> dick out of class, bro. No, I, I believe it. All the fucking time, bro. It used to be hilarious. <laughs> I'm trying to take notes. He's fucking showing me his guy in front of everybody, bro. It's just fucking crazy. <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> fucking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> No, straight up. <laughs> Eric was a wild man, bro. Back in high school, Eric's, Eric's only fans are sweating right now. I'm sweating. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, there's a possibility that this meeting ends in five minutes. I have so much to say. I have so much shout outs. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 She's yeah, so, much, so much shit. Mm-hmm. God, why are you drinking water? Because I'm nervous. I'm nervous this episode <laughs> for some reason. I'm having a nervous <laughs> breakdown. Why did my Xbox turn on? Xbox, bro, can turn we off. When the camera's not on? Jesus Christ, I love talking to you guys, bro. It's so much fun. Um, yeah, I miss you. We should, I don't know, we got to get the high school crew yeah, back Thursday. together. What are y'all doing Thursday? Watch the Thursday. Game. I'm in Illinois. <laughs> are you really doing what? I'm with fam. Been here all you month. Barack Obama? <laughs> yes. Don't you Springfield, live in Orlando? Springfield, Illinois. Kanye West. That's the only two people I know from Chicago. There, bros. Are Bear you in Rose. Orlando still? D Wade. Altamont Spring, baby. Altamont. Oh, it's about spring. So random. Um, Goes to Ianville. Shout out to uh, Eyes for Watching God. Ianville. Um, any other NBA book. takes before we move on? Um, yes. What? If you want to, <laughs> honestly, Andrew, if if you're a big diehard, I would put good money on Mass winning it all. Fuck it. The return is good, and they that, that team is nice, bro. 
I know it's not. Do you think they have a chance to? Bro, it, it's a fucking dude. This shit has never happened before. I know, dude. I know, and that's why I think some weird team can win. Luca, Seth Curry, is is what's Matthews on that team still? I don't remember. If if a team Bobon, other than the Bobon. Lakers or the Clippers win the West, I can see it being obviously being the Mavs. Y'all talk about spreads in this pitch? Um, no, but sure, go ahead. What's the spread on the Laker game this Thursday? Because I'll, I'll take the Lakers without without a. We don't know. Everybody. The spread should be close. Lakers slightly favored, I would assume. Maybe minus two. Yes, it's Lakers minus four and a half. Ooh, now that's I would take a Laker minus two all day, four and a half. I'm like, I don't know. People, what do you guys think about – do you think the players are going to play – I heard different takes where they think that these players are – like, without fans, it's going to be straight buckets, just like LA Fitness or some shit? Or what do you guys think? It's going to be less buckets? I can see I can see the shooting percentage go up because nerves is kind of – they're kind of less nervous because they're just shooting mm-hmm. around. Like, you see what – you see the highlights of, of Hoodie Mellow, like, just in the gym. Do you think that's what it's going to be like? A bunch of people just in the gym? Gino Mello, bro. Gino. And he's skinny Mello right now, bro. You see him? No. <laughs> is he, is he even safe for the, him to be there? I don't there? think the play on the court is going to change. I think they're going to get buckets regardless. And they're still going to be slamming on each other, putting nuts in people's faces. I think the, the shooting shit. percentage goes up a little bit. I don't know. Like, I mean, even before this pandemic, the fucking games were so high scoring, you know? Like, think about James Harden, who takes dumb shots sometimes to, like, get a crowd boost. I think he'll take smarter shots. Because, like, who's he impressing? He can't hear any reaction. Although, I guess in people watching. Yeah, I guess in basketball, like, you you, you kind of show out for... for James everybody. Harden's still taking that dumbass <laughs> step back three every time he comes in. Oh, court. yeah. That's his move. Um. Anyway, <clears throat> we lost like, him. Looks like he's frozen. No, I'm, here, I'm, here, I'm texting. You're frozen. You're frozen on screen, buddy. Bro, and we got. Hey, you got seven minutes. Okay, let me. Uh. So, what do you guys think going to win it all? Hey, only seven Look, more minutes. That's what it says. Yeah. Lakers. I mean, I want I want the Bucks to win. I want the Mavs to win. I think Clippers will win it all. No, I think fucking Mark Cuban had enough, enough wins, bro. I think we're gonna <laughs> Clippers are gonna be out without Lou Will against the uh, Lakers in the opener because he went out to the strip club and shit. But honestly, I feel like Kawhi doesn't even give a fuck about regular season, anyways. <laughs> you know, that's true. They gotta play eight. They gotta play eight random ass games first. And Doc Rivers don't care. He's going to be like... What do you mean they don't care? I mean, he's going to be like... I mean, Doc Rivers, his facial emotion, and he has a lot of passion for the game. He's going to be yelling and yelling at the refs. But... I think think Clippers are are deeper. And Kawhi can just turn it on. Yeah. Honestly, bro. No one can turn on like Kawhi. Too much pressure for the Lakers to win. Best player of our generation, Kawhi Lenny. I'll take well, thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> Say it ain't so, dude. What are you guys Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so, dude. I have money. We can, what you guys hey, we can, tell, we can tell you've been on uh, Fox News and Joe Rogan podcast a lot this this quarantine. Cause no, I only watch. No, 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 no. You hey. know, okay. Okay. It, it's not my decision to to kick you off in five minutes. That's just Zoom will only let us a certain amount of time. Give give me your top five because we're doing top NFL players off the dome right now. Off your dome, Young, give us a, your top five players in the NFL right now. Okay, I'll give you the top five players have the most impact during the playoffs, right? Like maybe okay, NFL? Yeah, maybe that's what question I was going to It's going to be LeBron James. No. <laughs> I said. NFL. Football. NFL? football. Yeah, football. <laughs> 
Tom Brady. <laughs> Tom Brady. Brady. Stumped. Mahomes. Okay. Is that one and two? Who was in the Super Bowl last year with Mahomes? 49ers. I don't know who plays for the 49ers. <laughs> <laughs> Alex something? Go graph or go. Gra- Jimmy, 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 Jimmy G, Jimmy G. So that's your third. So you have three quarterbacks. You got Brady, uh, Mahomes, and Jimmy G as your top three players. Uh, who was on the Philadelphia Eagles when they won the championship? <laughs> Nick Foles. Recently? Nick Foles, throw him in there. Okay, so you got four <laughs> quarterbacks. How's David Blaine doing? David Blaine is a magician, <laughs> and he's doing good. He's still releasing videos. <laughs> no, Oh, Blaine Gabbert, Blaine Gabbert. And Blaine Gabbert. Okay. Bro, fuck the NFL. All right, you got four minutes. What other things do you want to talk about? Yeah. Y'all been uh, going out. I know y'all have. I've been seeing your fucking Snapchat, and y'all not giving a fuck about this pandemic. Shame <laughs> what on you. What are you talking about? Shame. <laughs> he, Eric's been no, in no, Illinois no, no, for three weeks. Time. I'm not on Snapchat often, but when I am, Andrew's at a pool party. No one's wearing masks, and – only fucking white dudes there. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, we had two blacks. I mean, black guys. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> bro, you sound like Don Trump right there, bro. Who? He would say the president. Oh, we had two of those. I'm still undecided, so. African- I decided. <laughs> yeah, who are you going to vote for, Young? <laughs> you don't know. know. I'm, I'm yeah. waiting till November. I'm waiting till November, dude. <sighs> undecided. Nobody's undecided right now. Trump. I'm probably undecided. The fuck off, Eric. <laughs> Not a joke. He's I think winning. He's de- I think he's dead hey. ass. I know. I know. I know. You know. You know what I said to Andrew before when I texted him? Maybe like last week or so. Tell me. You know what I said? I said, "Yo, we were talking about you." And I'm like, he's he, and he he said some like maggot maggot shit. I'm like, yo, I didn't realize Eric was in a fucking cabin, bro. See, he doesn't get it either. But you know, I Uncle Tom. I'm calling your fucking yes. Uncle Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yo, because I read that shit one time. Someone's like, yo, you remind me of my uncle. He lives in the cabin. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm going to drop that shit every time. It's necessary. I don't even get it. I, I don't support Trump. I just think he's going to win. Um, but I'm also MAGA. By accident. <laughs> You have to watch, you have to listen to the episode to understand why. How much an episode young called Eric Eric goes MAGA. Oh yeah, I saw that, and that's why that's why I takes Andy. I didn't realize Andrew. I mean, Eric was in the cabin, bro. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what happened. I saw that shit. So sometimes young um, Zoom you gotta hit play. Sometimes, sometimes Zoom allows you like once your forty five minutes is up, it'll say, "Hey." We've given you unlimited time this time. If it does that, then you can join us for our top 100 list. But if not, you got to <laughs> have a good night. <laughs> What's the timer on that shit? We got a minute left. What else do you want to talk about? It's good. It's probably like 25 seconds now. It Please, Derek, don't fucking rush me. It says a minute. You're good. You've had 50 minutes. Okay, um, I, I, I just read that Kendrick Perkins and Lou Williams had beef. Did you hear what uh, Lou Williams said about Kendrick Perkins? It was it was weak. It wasn't that interesting. But yes, I saw it. He basically said, I didn't realize Kendrick lived in a fucking cabin. <laughs> <laughs> word for word. Honestly, that's, that, that's how I kind of feel. I mean, I like Kendrick on that show. Kendrick's funny. Keeps it kind of real. Bro. Give me, what happened with that with that Lou Williams thing? He went to a strip club to buy chicken wings. No, I'm pretty sure he had a family emergency. Did a family emergency? He said, "Fuck, I'm going to Atlanta." <laughs> That's probably what happened. And he went yeah. to, but he went strip to a strip club. club, didn't he? He went to a no, strip but club, know, but Lou, they have you know, good but food. Lou there. Williams is a fucking legend when it comes to that shit. You know, partying and shit. Lou Williams is a fucking god. He couldn't keep it in the in the pants for this. Bro, you know. Okay, you know that Drake made a song about him having two girlfriends and shit? All right, that call just abruptly cut off with Young in the middle of his thought. Um, hope you guys enjoyed Young. He, he asked to be 
brought back for the rest of this episode? I said no. He said lose my number. Um, so I, I, I can only take, you know, doses of Young Long at a time. Just kidding, Young. Love you. And Young, thanks for thanks for joining the episode, even though you don't listen. Good to see your face. See you soon. <laughs> so NFL news. Oh, you you can you can start us off. Yeah, speaking of uh, kneeling in the NFL. So um, as we approach this NFL season, which I desperately need to happen for my own bank account and brand, um, the NFL and the NFL Players Association have agreed on a CBA. It's you know small one currently and it's going to cover this season and future seasons and what it states so far this is the only information i have right now is that it prohibits players from attending indoor nightclubs which they shouldn't be doing anyway obviously uh indoor right. bars Open. except to pick up food indoor house parties with 15 or more people shouldn't be going to any house parties if you in an nfl season you've had all this time to do it, even though you shouldn't be doing that shit. Um, also prohibits him from going to concerts, professional sporting events, indoor church services that are allowing wow. attendance above 25% capacity. And if any of these players are it's caught doing church. this shit and they test positive for corona, then they're going to get fined um, extensively, I'm sure. And they will not be paid for the games that they miss. Also, future guarantees in their contracts would be voided. So NFL really, really cracking down on this. But the PA agreed. So I guess everybody's in agreement that, yeah, y'all shouldn't be going out and going to these clubs and parties and shit during the NFL season because you're going to put the whole season at risk. Um, But we don't got to worry about Russell Wilson. That man is as straight edge as I can think. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, he's not. He's he's just had a kid, so he's. He's going to be home if, if he's not at the game or not practicing. Um, one player won't even won't even be putting himself at risk in the NFL. He's going to be putting himself at risk at this long this uh what do they call long term care facility in Canada. Uh, Chief starting right guard Laurent Duv- Duvernay Tardif, who <laughs> um, who holds he holds a a doctor in medicine. He's the first NFL player to opt out of his contract due to COVID-19. Mm. But it's not because he's scared of it. It's so he can continue continue to work as an orderly, whatever that is, at a long-term care facility in Canada, helping fight the virus. God, Canadian Canadians are nice. Oh, like and he just he just won a Super Bowl too, so he's good. He's like, I guess yeah, so. I'll go help. He's like, That's- he's like, I I got to the pinnacle of my NFL career, winning a Super Bowl. He's a guard. He's like, you're not going to win MVP or anything else. So he's trying wow. to put his doctorate in medicine to use now because he spent a lot of money going to school for that, and he got it. So I understand his decision. And more power to him. I mean, I'm sure NFL is more fun than being an orderly at a long-term care facility. So I'm sure he's giving up some things, some pleasures in life to do that. And he's not getting a salary. I guess he'll get a salary when when he returns next year. Unless he really likes his doctorate stuff. An orderly is an attendant in a hospital responsible for the non-medical care of patients and the maintenance of order and cleanliness. Oh, God. That's awful. Jeez, he's nice, how you, nice. How are you going to go from winning a Super Bowl, getting a ring, to picking up shit in a long-term term care facility? Holy moly. Cleaning bathrooms, I bet. Man, oh, they probably whole, don't make him do the the, the grunt work. Man, a whole like man, a whole champion. janitor now. Yeah. I'm just I'm chill. Oh. <laughs> Can't roast oh. his decision. It's like he's trying to help people. <laughs> man got a doctor and he's cleaning up after old people. Yeah, Jesus. I thought he was, I thought he was gonna be like performing on people and shit. But he's just gonna go help out on I guess hospitals that are at over capacity and need help with you know cleanliness and all that shit. You mentioned Russell Wilson. Speaking of the Seahawks. Um, they traded their first two, their, uh, two first round picks, one in twenty one, another in twenty two, a third rounder in twenty one, and Bradley mm. Mc <laughs> McDougald, who <laughs> to the Jets for Jamal Adams in a fourth round pick. How many who times you said sh- who on this goddamn? A lot. <laughs> who won this trade? Um, I got to be that guy that says both. 
You know, oh the, my God! Come well, on, come on, oh. come on! The, the Seahawks going for it all right now, and be honest, they've got Russ Wilson. How many draft picks of Seattle have we have been memorable? In the oh, first cra- one, none, basically none. They Bruce were the Irvin. top running team in the NFL last year. You forget Bruce Irvin? Yeah, I did. <sighs> they signed a defensive back who's you know problematic with his attitude, but he should help. You know, Seahawks are always in the playoffs, so this these draft picks I feel don't hurt them. And the Jets, they're not even ever in playoff contention. They haven't been to the playoffs since Sanchez was a quarterback, so they're rebuilding for the next decade, like the Jags. So, did they win? I don't know because I don't know who they're going to draft and if these draft picks are even going to mean anything for the team in the future because they're ass right now and they just lost a top defensive player in the league. What, Sam Darnold and Le'Veon Bell going to lead them to the goddamn promised land? Fuck no. Come on. Jets didn't win this trade. How did Jets win this trade? Because they got some picks. Yay. The draft just ended. We've got to start a new season. The Seahawks won this trade. Yeah, it would have been nice if they could have done this trade before the draft. Damn. Sorry, Gay V. Jets. I was. Bottom feeders. I was on the Jets winning this trade bandwagon. Because, I mean, Jamal already expressed his desires to leave, so you had to trade him. Um, And he got two first-round picks. And for the Seahawks, I'm like, you gave away two first-round picks for safety. And then I remembered that, you're right, they're going to be late-round picks. And really, if you think about it, they traded, well, they still gave a third-round pick. That's that's third and two firsts. I don't know. I think the Jets won the trade, but obviously the Seahawks will be better this Seahawks year. Seahawks like, will be will be chilling. They they're trying to fight against the 49ers who just were in the Super Bowl. And they had some great games, but Yeah. So it's not going to it's obviously not going to show on paper or on the field. That the Seahawks didn't like win. I think the Jets won on paper. The Seahawks are going to win on on field. Right. Cuz Seahawks Seahawks are a win now team right now yeah jets are rebuilding so that's why isn't that like a one year isn't he doesn't he only have like one year left i don't know can he dip after this i don't know ask adam schefter where's a darn joking (laughs) oh did you see this video of saquon barkley jumping out of a pool Yes, I'm tired of these pool jumping videos. Fuck. You tired? There's others? Yes, they show them all the time. Of Bro. The, the offensive lineman that the pay, or the Bucks drafted, that was the video they used of him to show highlights. He jumped out of a pool. It's like how, is this po- how is that possible? Leg strength, quads, power, your burst. That is absolutely insane. I can't even jump that high in the air. Yeah, it, it's a pretty difficult thing to do, but, you know. If I tried that, I'd be so scared. You've seen one, seen them all. But it's Saquon, bro. I know. If I tried that, I'd be so scared of splitting my shins open on the edge of the pool. I'm surprised a video like this of Saquon hasn't surfaced sooner since he's known for his legs. Yeah. Like, where's Maurice Jones Drew video? Miss that guy. (laughs) He can't jump. How does your dad feel about his new, his uh, favorite football team, the Washington football team? Oh, God. The Washington was- football team. He hasn't really expressed disinterest or interest. Actually, he just did have a post about it on his Instagram. It's funny because his name on Instagram used to be Redskins0254. <laughs> and I couldn't find the nigga because he oh, had changed no. it to what BED0254. It? To what? T- TBD? B- his initials, BED. That's funny. Oh, here's his post. The Washington football team. For now, just call them the Warriors, please, and begin creating a marketing strategy with the public relations department developing an updated history that includes the... Dad, shut up. His his specific (laughs) ass. Intricate ass. Shut up, Dad. Nobody's calling them the Warriors. What they should have done is called them the DC Defenders. Take that XFL team team name. He's like, why is this so difficult? It's not that complicated. Just hire me as your consultant, and I'll show you how to do what is right. With Why all he's of trying to get a job. This man putting his job interview on Instagram. The Washington Warriors. I don't like 
when teams have the same names as other teams in other leagues. Because I hear Warriors, I'm thinking Golden State. We got the Warriors versus Giants this weekend. Nope. Warriors versus Eagles. I like it. Washington Warriors? Yeah, I kind of like it. Throw it in the goblet of fire, buddy. Oh, God, you're cute. We'll get into that later. <laughs> um, ah, oh, fuck. Here we go. <laughs> top 100 players off the dome. Let's we go. are counting down the top 100 players in the league off the top of our heads. There's no studying, no planning for this, as you can tell when we go through it. We have done 100 to 81. If you missed it, go to our Instagram page, at Dun and Drew, and you'll see the first 20 selections. Here we go. We got 10 more. Um, looks like I'm starting off again. Oh, wait. We got some things to say. You got a few notes. Hold up real quick. So the NFL started doing theirs, and they're doing like 30 at a time for some reason. They are. Sickening, and they're doing like day by day, like they're doing another tonight or something. Yeah, they're dropping like up to forty tonight. What the fuck? Like, Just chill, slow down. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I heard it was player voted, which kind of takes off the ability to roast the NFL for putting them out. It always is player voted. Is it? Have you not heard their promos? They're like top one hundred players of the players voted by the players or whatever. Mm, no, it's always player voted. Well, players suck because this list is ass. Ours is better. Oh. Um, I agree. So, but we did have one similarity. Kyler Murray came in on theirs at number ninety. Um, he, on ours, he was ninety-one. So, good job, Eric, on that selection. Thank you. A few people they had that I have no clue who they are. Grady Jarrett on the Falcons. They had him at ninety-one. I don't know who that is. Um, a guard named Brandon Brooks at ninety-eight. A Raiders tight end named Darren Waller. Oh, you know Darren. He was like a top tight end in fantasy. Was he? Yeah. Uh. And Ryan Ram... Don't know how to say that. Ramchick? I don't know him. Or Saints guard at 82. You skipped over your boy, Josh Allen, at 87. (laughs) Oh. So, yeah, they did put Josh Allen at 87. And I will assure you... That unless Eric sabotages this list, <laughs> Josh Allen is not a top 100 player, and we will prove it with this off the dome list. 80. Oh God, that's ridiculous. I'm just. I just can't wait to see where they put Lamar Jackson. I bet they have him at like fucking five. If they have him five or up, what should I do? Oh, you're mad. I'm gonna mad. do something. Oh, you're mad. You're heated. I'm gonna do something. You think he's what top? I, what I'm gonna do? He's gonna have, be top ten. He just won MVP. Uh, top 10, I can see. Because he's like kind of unstoppable on the field. But like as a quarterback throwing the ball, not a fan. But I bet if they have him top five, I'm going to be so pissed. All right. Number 80. Let's start this list off. Fuck, I didn't prepare. Number 80. Fuck, I, I almost did it. <laughs> I almost did it. I, I'm so hype. I almost did Lamar Jackson. <laughs> At 80. Ah. <laughs> uh, MVP of the, of the league. <laughs> oh, by the way, I don't regret any of my picks from last week. Um, you except, don't? Hunter, except Hunter Henry. But I got a lot of backing oh. for, for Austin Eckler. Yes, you did Austin Eckler, and someone showed me his. I, I roasted his rushing stats, and someone showed me his receiving stats. I was like, oh, shit. This man hate. Um, what TJ eight. Yeldon could have been. Cha 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 cha. Um, so so I always bring a random ass Jags play. You do. <laughs> oh yeah, team logos. Let's get that. Mom, stop hitting me up on Facebook. I'm in the same house. Sorry, talking to myself. NFL team logos. Did you see the beef um, Keenan Allen had with his ranking? No, I don't really care. Mm. Just thought you'd uh, had seen it. At 80, give me... Fuck. No, I can't. I just can't. I can't disrespect You him. can do whatever did, you want. I was the Tom Brady. Mm. But like, I feel like he... I feel like... I don't know. I can't disrespect the GOAT. You can't. You really can't. Now that he's in your city, 
That'd be blasphemous. Um, okay, this player came into the league, came in really strong. Um, oh, wait. Who's that Cowboys linebacker they took the same year Miles Jack was taken? He was injured. Jalen Smith, right? Sure. Jalen Smith. Couldn't tell you shit about him, but sure. So he was injured his rookie year, but he came on and he, and he like he's fulfilled his his duties, I think, so far. I'm thinking of going defense here as well at number 79. Um, this guy is on the come up, y'all. He's... We're listening. Pretty solid. Pretty solid player. I don't think he gets <laughs> enough. Bless you. I don't think he gets COVID. enough. I don't think he gets enough credit out here. I give him credit. We're giving uh Oh, I can't do that. That's too low for him. Oh Who was it? Can't tell you, can't tell you. Now I put myself in a corner because that's what I wanted to take, and I don't know. <laughs> Do it. It's your list. I can't. You a, it's too low. I got roasted last week. I don't want that to happen again. Um, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me Xavier Rhodes. That's that's decent. And I already got mine. I already got mine ready. Do you now? You ready for this? I'm ready. Born ready. Ready for this shit? Ready for this shit. I don't know if he's still nice, but Golden Tate. Golden Tate. <laughs> what? Any on the Lions? I think so. Hmm. No. <laughs> Not a good pick. We'll see if the viewers... Give me the- Chris Godwin. Are you kidding me? He's better. No, Chris Godwin on the Bucks. Yeah, he's way better than seventy-seven. Are you kidding mm, me? I can name. He was one of the 15, best wide receivers in the league last year. I can name fifteen better. Ja, do you're it. Bi- you're biased. <laughs> do it. I'm, I'm not biased. I just live here. Go. Oh man, you disrespecting the fuck out of him. Yeah, I did. Now we got to put Mike Evans higher than him. Chris that's Godwin my, had a better. That's my year. Penn State boy, though. Chris Godwin. That is a that is the Bucks receiver, right? That went off last year. You should know that, yes. Bruh, everybody in the Bucks offense went off because Jameis Winston had the most yards almost in the NFL. Even their tight ends were eating. And that white boy in the slot. Jason Peters, Jason Peters, Jason Peters. Did we do Jason Peters yet? Jason Peters. What? We did it. I don't the, know if I'm saying the, I don't know if I'm saying him because NFL did there, Jason Peters. Is that Eagles? Yeah. I think he's nice. We need to pick him. Jason Peters. Wish I knew that was. Defensive tackle, guard. I know he's one of those. He's on the line. Jason Peters is an offensive lineman. Yeah, one of the lines. Um, uh, tackle, tackle, I believe. 75 here. Right. I wish I had more knowledge of players. Well, we gotta get we gotta do this because we gotta get ready for fantasy. Maybe. Um, fuck. Give me. Nope, can't pick him. Seventy-five. I mean, we're still, we're still, we're still pretty low in the list. We're still pretty low on the list. So these players are are good, but they're not great. Chris Godwin ain't great. He's fast, but he ain't great. He's he's borderline. <sighs> Is he? Give me, give me, give me old, give me old Minka. Give me old Minka. Minka Fitzpatrick. I don't even know what team he's on. I'm just trying to roll with defense here, and I don't know too many defensive players, so fuck Christ. y'all if y'all judging me at the home right now. Ooh. Ooh, got one. Just looked at the Ravens logo. God damn. Who do you think I'm going with? I think you're going with uh, Mark Ingram. Oh my God! You're nice. Kiss me. I am. Mark Ingram, seventy-four. Ingram. I'm on a roll today. It's so much easier today. Why well, you got a list? <laughs> hmm. Seventy-three. 
I've been thinking of, oh, just got a text from a girl I'm about to talk about later in Rants, Raves, and Reviews. Huh. Anyway, number 73, top 100 NFL players off my dome. Hmm. Sorry, Connor, if you're listening, I do be swallowing very loud into the mic. Hmm. Mark Ingram, Mark Ingram. Give ooh, mm. almost jumped the gun there. Almost jumped it. Are any Redskins players in the top one hundred? Yeah, come on, boy. You already know that, that left tackle <laughs> that the Forty ers got from the Skins. No spoilers. Give me Matt Ryan. Okay, I guess. Ah, oh, that's an ugly one, though. It is. He's an ugly player, but he's it's he's top one hundred. He's top one hundred, though. Dolphins. Hmm. Oh, that's where Who Minka. That? That's where Minka play. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh no, no wait. Yeah, yeah. Steelers yeah. trade. Who's that? Dolphins. Rashad Jones. Right. Chargers. Chargers. We got a lot of Chargers on here. Ingram. Melvin Ingram. Who? I got two Joking. Ingrams back to back. Shut up. <laughs> Melvin Ingram, 72. thought that was Melvin Gordon at first. I was going to have to give you the old one-two combo. <laughs> Who's that? Melvin Gordon. Running oh, back. that's a Charger. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sat out. Wrapping year. up this week's list at 71 is a player... Pretty well known around the league. Looking at these logos here and drawing hella blanks. What's he known for? Don't know yet. He might be on the West Coast, I'm thinking. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You'd be too high. Come on, help me out at home if you're listening. Help me out. Scream out they're, names. They're, they're screaming. Scream oh, out names. did you hear that one? Oh, I got one. You heard him? You heard him? Yeah. Someone yelled Julian Edelman. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you fuck. See, this is why you can't put Chris Godwin so early because now you're putting Julian Edelman ahead of him. I hate you. It's off the dome. I understand that, but it still needs to be precise. No, it can't be. There's too much Julian pressure. Edelman. It's too much pressure. Right. He's getting the ball from Cam Newton now. It's gonna be dimes. Dime. <laughs> <laughs> and and Chris Godwin getting it from Brady. They swapped. They swapped. Oh shit, Chris Godwin gonna be nice. Oh my god. And them slots. Oh my Brady can't god. throw deep though. Chris Godwin likes to run fucking flies. So if he's running those uh fades he's gonna be straight all right rants raves and reviews you got any rants um this is not really a rant but i just had to get it off my chest because took me by surprise so you remember the story of me and that girl making out in the charlotte airport feeling each other up after we had that did, modeling gig together did you tell that story on here yeah do a quick Why very you short listening? Do it. I, I know. Need, I, I, don't, heard. I don't. I don't need to tell you again if the listeners know it. But if they're new, let's just go go through it real quick. Oh, shit! The outro just came up on my headphones. <laughs> Why are we running late? So the story was after this modeling gig I had in Charlotte, I met another model and she was attracted to me and we hit it off and when we got in the airport waiting for our flights we were like flirting making out feeling each other up all that shit in the airport yes from the uber ride to the airport and in the airport but truck to the plane to the truck anyway i hit her up at 1 a.m the other day saying sorry for the late text just thinking about you playing with my meat in the security line at the airport <laughs> And I woke up to a 90 second voice message from her saying that that hurt her feelings because she was looking for something wonderful and casual. She's past that physical shit in her life. And 
This is just the horny in me, right? We started our friendship in a very sexual way after I had just finished a modeling gig. So that's just me. That's just me keeping it consistent. And she's like, she wants to change that now. So essentially, she's only a friend now, which I'm cool with. Don't get me wrong. I'm cool with that because, you know, she's a good woman and she's smart and fun to talk to. And she's not some annoying chick that just talks about some bullshit. You know, she's into real estate and all that stuff. So she's a good friend to keep around. But, you know, I didn't think texting that to somebody would have made them, you know, upset. So So she's so she's saying that she's on to a new since your meeting, she's grown and is now looking for something serious. So you bringing up that past where she was like more handsy and more flirty and more you know one night stands kind of kind of personality that that brought her back to a, a place in time she didn't she doesn't want to be anymore she yeah, wanted which, a, but, she, but that probably was gone a long time before i even texted her because i was back in october so she's probably changed since then she but. wanted you to text her saying hey girl i'm thinking about this house that we could move <laughs> into and start a family in honestly Honestly, yeah, because she in her voice message she was like, "Yeah, if you ever want to talk about you know modeling or the housing industry, then I'm all for it." But the sexual stuff, I just want to stop with that. So yeah, that's a little rant. I'm not angry at it. It just caught me off guard because I've never been, you know, stopped in my tracks like that before. Turn you on. So, Low key, it did. Yeah, you know, it's, it's you should have, you should have replied with a picture of your meat, <laughs> <laughs> like hard as a rock, saying, "Damn, girl, would this look meat. good on the marble countertops of this new place I'm looking at?" <laughs> uh, she might get a kick out of that. She listens. Um, that's my only rant. Yeah, I don't have any. I just had one, but I deleted it. Didn't feel like getting into it. It wasn't it wasn't really. I wasn't. I'm not feeling it anymore. I was really mad about it earlier, but I'm fine now. Um, I got a rave though. Did I talk about finishing Harry Potter last week? Only on Twitter. So I finished Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, meaning I'm done with the series. I watched the movie finally. I've avoided the movie for ten whole years, and I finally finished the book. So I played the movie, and I will say this movie. I am less angry at this movie with how it portrayed the book than I am since probably the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, this was like this was a hype movie. Graphics were good, mostly. Um, battle scene was great. Um, I knew I know I dropped this I dropped this a few times on this on this podcast. I knew Snape was not bad. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew that it was too obvious for him to have killed Dumbledore. I was like, there's no way that that JK, I call her Joe, that Joe would hint, would like make Snape bad and make us think that he's bad the whole book to, to just say, oh yeah, he's bad. Killed Dumbledore. Yeah, I know it was obvious and it is obvious. He's a bad guy. No, I knew that there was another side to him and... Finally, finally, it's revealed that he, that Dumbledore told him to kill him. That's so crazy. I'm like watching and I'm like thinking, I'm starting to believe that Snape is bad after all. Because I'm like, what are they going to say to make me believe that killing Dumbledore is okay for Snape? Because they start hinting that Dumbledore may not have been the best person. But there's no way that she can convince me in the hundreds of pages left that Dumbledore had it coming. And that I'm supposed to be on the same side. So what could she do? And what does she do? She says that Dumbledore was dying and needed Snape to kill him. Ah, oh, that's so crazy. But anyway, what got me the most from this book, best line, was when Harry told his kid at the train station that his kid's name is Albus Severus Potter. And one of them was in Slytherin. And he's named after one, and he's one of the bravest people that he's ever met. God, that that was emotional, but um, hella spoilers because I have been. I'll skip to reviews here. You got me watching one Harry Potter movie a day. 
<sighs> and I haven't read the books in over a decade, so I forgot Jeez. how some of these catch you know, up. <laughs> I forgot how some of these movies played out and ended. Damn, but sorry. I, I've, I've ran through five of them already. I got uh, Half Blood Prince and Deathly Hollows left, so I'll probably run those up sometime this week. Um, they're like going really quickly. A lot. Oh no, shit! I'm binging. <laughs> but it's like movies are to, quick. Used to read the book, wait for the fucking movie, watch the movie, and then have to wait a whole year plus for the next movie. And that's how I experienced it in real time. And now I'm just bang, 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 one movie after another. So it's like, it's a weird feeling because I was very into Harry Potter back in the day. So to watch them back to back to back to back to back like that, it's been uh, very quick. And I'm it's bothering me how quick they're going because I'm already at six. <laughs> um, I might start them over again. But yeah, I forgot how I know Neville slices the snake but I forgot like all the little stuff in between in the movie in six and seven. I only remember like bits and pieces like in six. I only remember Harry giving Dumbledore the potion that makes him fucking choke and shit. Hmm. But I barely remember any other stuff in the movie. So that's why I had to go back and watch them and get a little review going for myself to reminisce. Remi- back in the day. Um. <laughs> But back to raves. You guys are going to love this one. Wrap up my... Give it to me. Wrap up this pod with a rave here. So it's a pretty detailed one. On Wednesday of the of last week, I came across two more people that saw my dancing TikTok of the Cascade of Dance every time we touch. And they <laughs> you know, are fetishi- fetishizing, fetishizing me on Snapchat, however you say that. I'll start with Allie. That'll be your name here for confidentiality purposes. So this woman, Allie, reaches out to me saying, hey, love your TikToks. I'm a new but big fan. Big in all caps. This matters. Um, <laughs> then we went into casual conversation, you know, our ages, where we live. I find out she's 40 years old, a school teacher, and divorced with three kids. She lives out in Fresno, California. Shout out Goya Ryan. He knows who he is. So I'm thinking, hmm, do I finally have a MILF on my hands after 27 years of life and, and all this social media fame? Um, I've never run into a MILF who wants my meat. So do I finally have one? And so the convo died. I tell her to hit me up whenever. And then later in that same day, she sends me her story in a bathing suit top and I compliment her titties like the gentleman I am. She asks if I'm single. And it went uphill for the next three hours until I went to bed. She was putting her kids to bed and it started tame. She was talking about cuddling and massaging. And then she comes out and just says, I could suck your balls for an hour. And then it takes my horny ass 10 notches up and we start sexting. It's like, so, I wanna, it's like, I want to, I want to suck you here. I want to fuck me hard. Come all over me. Yank my hair, ride my cock into the sunset like a cowgirl. And she's fluent in Spanish, so I told her to call me Poppy. Why I'm rock hard right now? Oh, shit. So, guys, I think I have a uh, Cali milf on the roster, and I need to get to Cali ASAP. So you would have sex with this forty year old woman? Oh yeah. Has oh a hairy, man, hairy, has a hairy pussy too. God, you're really horny. You said the p word. <laughs> Maybe she could use some manscaped. Oh yeah. So she texted me. That's the text I got earlier. She said, hey, handsome, how's your day going? Oh, I didn't even say we FaceTime fucked. What? A couple days ago. And did what? I think it was Saturday. So it was just me jerking my stick while she played with herself. And she went to your grandma's house? (laughs) Yes. Yeah, I had to wait because my sister was up moving around the house. Like, go to bed, bit fuck. <sighs> and she had to go to her closet. I'm, I'm trying to, to do it. Facetime sex my forty this forty year old mother in California. <laughs> what is you're you're in Illinois and you're a different man. How's that different? I, Why did she have to ask. go to the closet? Because her bedroom light wasn't working. So she was trying to find a light. So she's so sitting in her closet, her. knees up, fingering her cooch. She was in her closet. After she putting laid, her kids to bed. She laid a blanket down in her closet. I FaceTime her. She has her 
she got her toy. She had a toy too. And we're just FaceTime sexting while her kids are in bed in the same house and I'm in my grandma's house. That's some hot. freaks. There's some freaks out there, guys. Yeah, I you. Need- <laughs> yeah, I, watch need your- my- I need them in my mentions. Watch your kids on, on the social media apps. You have predators like Eric out there. Predators. She's 40. True. Um, if that story wasn't enough, oh, my fuck. God, I have something even crazier. I got another cuckold offer. Do you remember the one I got before in Arizona? I think I Oh, I forgot that was in Arizona. It's like three years ago, I think. First year, of the, first year of the pod. But I got another cuckold. If you guys don't know what a cuckold is, it's when a man watches his wife smash another dude. <laughs> or watches his wife get smashed by another dude. That's right. more of why they're watching. So this husband messages me on Snapchat and says he will fly me out and pay me to fuck his wife while he watches. That's, that's he said, ridiculous. and I quote, I want to see her get railed with a BBC. And these sick fucks have a son. Oh, my God. <laughs> and he, the, this husband said that his son showed my profile to them, I guess. Because I was funny. And I asked if he was in on it. And he, he's not. <laughs> so I was like, I was confused because he's telling me he has a son that showed me, showed him my profile. So I was like, is your son in on this shit too? And he's like, oh no. He just showed me wow. your profile. So once Where I cleared these that, guys? Where once these I people? cleared that up, I'm not done. Oh. Um, these motherfuckers live in Napa, California. So another Cali. Cali is progressive as shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's talk about the money they offered me. They offered me six grand to pound his wife. Once? I guess. And ten grand if they could both join in and suck my meat clean. Bro. You leaving that money on the table? Hell no. You so go you see- there, you pay for your flight and everything. So if you see me and Callie on my stories, mind your business. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'll be handling mine. <laughs> Jesus. Bro, you have to do this. I'll come with you. You can pay for my flight. We can have a fun time. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm not going alone to this because what if you know? Yeah. I, what I'll, if I I'll get? Just, what if I get trafficked? To I'll India? wait in the living room. What if we both get trafficked? You think if I get my if wife? I get trafficked, I'd I'd want to be trafficked with you. Oh. Like I'd babe. say, like I'm not fucking nobody unless it's with Andy. They'd have God. to kill me. If I could I'm film gonna, it or something. If I'm gonna be trafficked, I'm going all out or I'm dying. I could film it and I could blur their faces if they wanted. Oh, they said no discretion. So they no don't discretion. They don't want any recording. Damn. Which you is asked? unfortunate. Yeah, I did. Jesus. <laughs> you are, if you don't pull, if you Why, don't go I'm through sick. on this, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't go through on this, you have to. It's tough times right now, but we have to. Who, who has six grand to just watch me pound their wife? Especially in these times, this happened how are they like last give it week. To you? How think I give it to you? I didn't go into those details because I'm, I'm, I look at things that you know at the surface of it. I'm not going into all these details because when the fuck am I gonna go to Cali anytime soon? They PayPal you. What would the but description I, I, be? I, I, I would get half up front, half after the deed is done. That's well, guys, crazy. let me know if I should uh, go to Cali and get yes. this two for one. Give this MILF some BBC and give this wife wow. some BBC. Well, I'm crazy. a sex object. Uh, why this is trafficking? I'm trafficking myself. <laughs> <laughs> you're making money off your body. Yeah, you're right. That's what it is. Ah, oh, shit. Is that the title? Oh, good one. Yeah. Sex trafficking is. ring? Done. Sex trafficking myself. Done. There sex tra- Sex trafficking myself. Well, my raves aren't anywhere near that, so I'll probably just leave them off. Um, Joe Rogan said he's moving his podcast to uh, Texas. See, that's why I wanted to leave it on. Is that, <laughs> that, a, is that a rave? Was that a rave? Was that was that good for? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. He's only doing um, it because of taxes, I think. Oh, a Florida man is accused of using his COVID relief funds. You know, small businesses right now with PPP, they can 
they can um, claim that they lo- they're in order to keep paying their employees. Government came out with this big bonus for small business and normal business owners. You know, yeah. to I almost applied. So here I'll read the story for you. I wrote it earlier today. A Florida man has been charged with obtaining $3.9 million in paycheck protection program loans and using it to buy a sports car and other luxury items in Miami Beach. The U.S. Department of Justice said a criminal complaint was made against 29-year-old David T. Hines of Miami, Florida. The complaint alleges that Hines sought approximately $13.5 million in PPP loans on behalf of different companies and made numerous false statements to do so. Hines was approved and awarded $3.9 million in loans. The complaint further alleges that within days of receiving his PPP funds, Heinz purchased, just days, mind you, Heinz purchased a 2020 Lamborghini Huracan, I don't know how you pronounce it, Huracan, sports car for approximately $318,000. The 29-year-old is also accused of not making the payroll payments he claimed on his loan applications. He did, however, allegedly make purchases at luxury stores and resorts in Miami Beach. Authorities seized the Lamborghini and three and a half million dollars from various bank accounts upon Hines, upon Heinz's arrest. Heinz was charged with one count of bank fraud, one count of making false statements to financial institution, and one count of engaging in transactions and unlawful proceeds. So we had no mugshot of this guy, and I didn't want to. I didn't think that. So sometimes, if we don't have a mugshot of someone, I'll Google him to see if. He's been in the news before, but this is such a specific crime and not something that like doesn't seem like a normal criminal who's been arrested before would do. Um, but my coworker s- searched it, searched his name and said, hey, he's been arrested before. I was like, no way. Turns out in 2018, he's arrested for resisting. He was charged with resisting arrest in Miami Beach. But this, the reason why is crazy. According to police, the man flagged down an officer to tell him that his girlfriend stole his Lamborghini. So he mm. has another Lamborghini. Shortly later, officials said Hines became uncooperative and both he and his girlfriend fled the scene. He was loca- later located and arrested. But while being arrested, he resisted and is, was charged with battery and a law enforcement officer. So what are the odds that this man's been arrested before for a Lamborghini issue? <laughs> so this so Florida what, man what is, used... What does that sentence hold for the cr- crimes against the fraud? Is he getting fined, or does he have to go to jail? He probably has to go to jail. the The release didn't say what he was. I don't think we know how much, yeah, how many years he's facing. Hmm. Um, but I'm th- pretty sure it's a felony, federal offense. So it's probably oh, yeah. gonna be a minute. It's gonna be a minute until he's oh, out. Shit. Yeah, you can't you can't fuck with with millions of dollars. You can't get fucked. Re- so this greedy motherfucker requested thirteen and a half million, and the first thing he does is buy a Lamborghini. Oh my god! Like I want to see his social media. Like if he was flexing after that purchase. That's that Miami Beach shit, boy. If he lived in Arkansas, he wouldn't have did that shit. No. Probably would have bought a farm. Yeah. That is my last joke of the pod. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sign us off. Hey, I joke. can't wait to talk everyone next week about our um, koozies that we have available. It's gonna be gonna be cheap. Gonna be easy to get, but it's only for the first so many people. God, you're a teaser. Um, and, I, and I can't wait to review everyone our manscape. Can't wait to see how how that does for me. My bush. I have a bush. I would show it to you, but this is going on YouTube. Yeah, I got a bush as well. Bush above and bush on my balls. I got both of my manscape packages to Illinois and Daytona. Thank you, Manscape. Why'd that. you do that? I didn't know we were coming back. <laughs> but now I got two products. We can ship out a manscape box to somebody. I can't believe you asked him for two boxes. Why couldn't Tommy get one? He did. He did? Yeah. All of us got one? Or you got two? Yeah. (laughs) That's a little greedy. And I got two shirts. (laughs) It's not greedy. It's not like it's not like it's money. It's just product. Um anyway, that's our show, guys. Whew. Thank you. Thank you again to Young Long Kim. A little dry in my Oh God. Forgot I did that. Hopefully it's funny when I listen back. Probably is. Um, share this show with your friends, parents, relatives. Rate and review us on iTunes. Watch us on YouTube. Text the word podcast at 386-204-6499. 
for exclusive updates and information about the podcast. We will see you next week in August. New month. Approaching election very soon. And we look forward to sharing our two partnerships with you. Enjoy the NBA season. Oh, yes. Opening night this week. Hopefully no COVID cases. This has been Dunn and Drew, baby.